Cruncher is a web-based statistical software program provided by Macmillan Learning and lives within Achieve. Cruncher is very easy to use and utilizes R in the background. Let's take a quick look at Cruncher in action. When you first open Crunch It, this is what you'll see. Your first step will typically be to input some data. There are several ways to do this. You can either load data from a homework question within the selected exercise in the ebook, or input the data directly from Crunch It. To load data directly from your textbook or Achieve, select Load to demonstrate Crunch It. Let's try an example. Here's the data from exercise 46 of chapter two in BPS, the ninth edition. These are data on the amounts in euros spent by customers in a small pizza restaurant in France on different evenings, whether either a relaxing lavender odor, a lemon odor, or no odor was spread throughout the restaurant. This study was done to see if there was a difference in spending based on the type of odor in the restaurant. The first column shows the type of odor and the second column shows the amount spent per customer in euros. Since there are three odor types, you might want to look at the distribution of euros spent by odor type. Sounds like a perfect job for a side-by-side -side box plot. To create side-by-side -side box plots, we select Box Plot from the Graphics menu and then select the Grouped tab. Our data are the euros and we want to group by odor. I'll add a title to our plot and then click Calculate. Let's also compute descriptive statistics by odor. I again select the grouped tab here, and it's just like we did for the side-by-side -side box plots. Summary statistics here for no odor, lemon odor, and lavender odor. Let's try another example. In Chapter 4, Exercise 30 of BPS, the 9th edition, we have data on behavioral loss aversion. There are two variables, neural and behave. Briefly, neural measures activity levels in a specific region of the brain, and behave measures individuals' sensitivity to loss. A scatterplot would be handy for exploring the relationship between these two variables, so let's make one. To create a scatterplot, we select Scatterplot from the graphics menu. Let's put neural on the x-axis and behave on the y-axis. One natural analysis task to perform would involve the correlation between neural and behave. We compute the sample correlation in Crunchit by selecting correlation from the statistics menu. We see that the variables have a correlation of about 0.85. Note though that this individual here is a bit of an outlier with values of both neural and behave much greater than everybody else. So we might consider the impact on correlation of excluding this individual from the analysis. Without the extreme individual, the sample correlation drops to about 0.7. We might also wish to do a linear regression with these data, treating behave as the dependent variable and neural as the independent variable. We do this by selecting regression, then simple linear from the statistics menu. I'll include the outlying individual just for fun. Here are the results with a statistically significant slope estimate of about 0 0.009, indicating a strong linear relationship between neural and behave. In addition to Crunchit, Achieve also features ample video technology manuals that instruct students on how to work with Crunchit and these data sets. As we've seen, Crunchit makes it easy to load and work with data. The powerful R software is running in the background, but with Crunchit, the student can focus on the content rather than the details of the underlying technology.